Take it away. Yep. Okay, uh, filament. We has them. We have a lot of filament. These are from Melt Inc. They're a Florida company that uh, makes the filaments and Noah and Pedro gave these uh, four thumbs up because there's two of them, two yeah. thumbs each. And uh, these filaments are 2.8 millimeters. So I'll show maybe this one on the overhead. We've got, yeah, yeah yellow, got all the white, uh, silver, okay. purple, violet. Show it. Okay, so let me show this. This is the like aqua teal color. And it's uh, three millimeter, 2.85 millimeter thick filament. Um, most of the printers that are being sold right now are uh, three or 2.85 millimeter filament friendly. And they've gotten, and no one paid to say they've gotten better results using this thicker filament. So it's available. It comes in a one kilogram spool. Um, they really like this filament. It's good quality stuff. So check out all the lovely colors we have. This is like Adabot blue. Yeah. We've got like a royal blue, a yellow green, a gray. Um, this, this lime green is kind of like pretty sweet. Yeah. Know. Lift this up and see. This lime green color. This is like a cool gray. This is actually a Mac Plus gray. Doesn't it have that like old apple color gray? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll, um, I'll grab these. Ones. Lilac, silver. The silver actually looks really nice. Yeah. That's a nice looking, yeah, blue. Remember Adabot blue? Purple. This is great. Lilac. Purple, this purple, purple is really, really good. good. These are really good colors. I feel like we've gotten a Silver. lot better colors since the beginning of filament making. Yeah. And so we're, we're kind of, we really like these filaments. Um, not only are they made in the US, but they're indestructible. Yes. That was a test. We were, we were doing, they did it on purpose. Yeah. To, uh, to In case you're wondering if it take a three foot fall, it can. Totally. No, not a problem. Okay. Nice pools. All right. Um, next up. More things that have Python on microcontrollers. Yes, it's all the microcontrollers. This is MicroPython powered, the PyCom Low Pi 4, which comes with Wi Fi and Bluetooth that comes from the ESP32 built in, and then LoRa and Sigfox um, as well. So it's got two kind of like high range. Uh, 900 megahertz radios. As you can see on the on the corner over there, there's two antenna slots, one for uh, one UFL each for um, LoRa, Sigfox, and then right below me, there's a little ceramic antenna and also um, antenna diversity, and then a UFL if you want to use an external antenna with Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, these are running MicroPython. They're running an ESP32 with uh, their fork of MicroPython on it, and, uh, but they have drivers for the LoRa and Sigfox. Yeah. You know, if, if you like, this one, it comes with a bunch of, they, there's a lot of different variations. This one comes with these four networks, that's why it's the low Pi 4. There's also the Phi Pi, which comes with these plus cellular LTE. There's uh, the Wi Pi that just comes with Wi Fi and Bluetooth. There's, I think, one with just Sigfox and Wi Fi and Bluetooth. There's, there's a lot of different options, so pick whatever makes sense for your setup. Um, this one is great if you're like, hey, I want to have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth for, uh, you know, local networks. And then LoRa, Sigfox, those can go multiple kilometers. It can go maybe 10 kilometers even with a good antenna okay. setup. And then, of course, you have fun doing MicroPython. You've got all the great drivers, the code. The SP32 has a nice, solid MicroPython build for it. Okay, next up. What's this? It's a fat stack. It's a fat stack of, of fats. We got a shipment of Pimeroni stuff coming in. Pimeroni. Everyone want to say it? Yeah. This has six connectors for the Raspberry Pi by 2x20 IDC connector. And you can use it to basically connect multiple hats, fats, bonnets, plates, whatever you want to call them. They go on top, and then you can connect it to your Raspberry Pi. So I can show the idea. So you got your Raspberry Pi. Yeah. You've got it. Hold on. Zoom in. Focus in. Wait, that didn't work out. Hold on. Do it right. Okay, so you plug into your Raspberry Pi. Um, and then over here, you've got all these slots. So if you've got a fat, uh, that plugs in directly. And then there's little standoffs as well. So you can have a nice uh, standed off area if you don't want to have these um, bump into anything. But then you also, if you have a hat, you can plug that in too. It'll just be a little bit bigger. So this is the uh, drum hat. 
Let's just get that back on there. And then, of course, it'll also fit our um, bonnet. So this is an OLED bonnet. So you can, you know, plug it in over here if you want. And then as long as you don't have any uh, pin collisions, here's the inky fat. I'm going to show this off in a moment, but I'll just preview. You plug it in and then you can have, as long as there's no pin collisions, you can have like a wide range of, of additions that are all just like totally wonderful mm -hmm. and uh, do all sorts of stuff. Especially if you're using um, our, our hats and add-ons that have I squared C, this is, you know, very easy, of course, to make it all work. If, you, if you're using GPIO pins, you'll have to, of course, make sure you don't have any collisions, but we give some links on uh, hints on how to make sure that works out. Also, really for debugging. So like maybe you just want to have two and then have your probe for your oscilloscope or logic analyzer on here. Um, that will work as well. Okay. Stacking. Speaking, speaking of, what is this? This is the inky fat. Oh. This is, it's got, it's, yeah, it's got a little, um, like a squid, I guess, as a mascot. Wait, I want to remove this carefully. So this is an uh, e-paper, e-ink um, add-on for Raspberry Pi. It's a fat, so you can use it with your Raspberry Pi Zero, Zero W, but of course it'll also fit on a Pi 3 but quite nicely. And um, it has an e-ink display that you can communicate with via Python to display images. And I've got a little demo of it, and I wanted to show it both in... Uh, wait, hold on. Adjustment time. Thank you for your patience while well, we adjust. Adjusted. Um, this got, I think, what, 200 pixels by 100 pixels approximately, and it's tricolor. So you get white, uh, black, and red. If it's been off for a while, eventually it does turn a little bit pinky, but if it's on and it yeah, hasn't been unrefreshed for a while, you, you get a pretty white white. And it's paper, so there's no backlight, but also means that when you cut the power, the image stays. So this is a demonstration of it just, pardon me, going between hello, my name is Adabot and hello, my name is Minerva. So something to keep in mind is you have to do this um, effect where you have a waveform where you, where you pulse the image uh, in and out to get rid of the old image and then bring the new image in. So part of why these are like very cute, small e-paper displays is that it does take time for it to really bring the image in and make it look good. Um, whereas, you know, when you're using the more expensive e-paper that's in like a Kindle or an e-paper book or whatever, a Nook, those are very fast. Those, those are, are tuned so you don't have to have this refresh effect. Um, just something to keep in mind, like you're not going to get very, very fast refreshes. This is for something that's only going to be updating maybe once a minute, maybe twice a minute at the most. Um, you can tune it to have a faster waveform, but you risk um, having the image not come out quite nicely. So I would recommend just sticking with the waveform okay. that it comes with. But it's tricolor. You get red, white, black pixels. Um, you cannot have the red and black at the same time. So you can have like red or black or white. But you know you can, as you can see, have really nice effects in the graphics as well. So you have like a little underwater scene with red highlights and. Um, white pixels this works with raspberry pi there's code it works great and yeah you can even shut down your pi and the image stays so it could be good for low power applications as well okay some more pi Maroni stuff here here we go okay bears bears all right these bears come in the box we got two different ones we have a fox bear and a fox and a bear bear i know uh, there's bear. two so there's there's just a kind of silent bear fox bear. and an awake bear these yeah. are bear bowls these are little we're all the kids. You get everything you need. I'll show off what comes in a kit. They're both so, sort of similar. Um, this is the Fox kit. So you get some conductive thread wound on this nice, uh, you know, Fox lady. You get some adorable golden stickers with the bears, foxes, the happy mushrooms. Everybody's happy. And then you get the um, electronics itself. So uh, it comes with a battery, um, and you remove it to turn it on. I can, I can maybe I'll do that right now. Okay. It has all these LEDs that sparkle in a lovely way, a little rainbow. And it works in and of itself. So you can sew this or pin this onto your um, electronics, as in your, into your clothing. And then you can press the button to change modes or to, you know, now it does a little chase, a little cute chase effect. Um, 
pulses in and out. But there also comes with a sensor, and you can use the sensor um, to when you sew it in, in with the conductive fabric and connect it to these little hooks here, you can make like interactive wearable art. So I have like a demo with the bear. Let me show the bear. So I've sewn the bear, happy bear, onto here. This will nice. make t-shirt. And um, you can see how that's done back here. You just use conductive thread, just make sure it doesn't cross. And um, what this does is it goes to sleep and then when you shake it. I got bear. This is. Hold on. Bear, wake up. Oh, no. I think maybe you have to hold. Oh, sorry. You have to tilt it. Wake up, bear. When it tilts, um, it turns on. So when you. Hold on. Yeah, you move up. Yeah. It'll hot. turn on and then it'll go back. Go back to sleep, bear. To sleep. It's a little bright. Hard to. Yeah. No, you can see it. When it was you can tilted. see it? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's a little dim, but you can see it. It, it looks really nice in person. Um, so this one comes with a light sensor. The fox comes with a light sensor. And the bear comes with um, an unhappy, um, looks like an acorn. Mm. But that's okay. If, if you turn it upside down, it's happy. That frown turned that acorn frown Maybe upside down. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe I have to put it upside down. Okay. okay, so it, it, you, you don't have to use it. There's a button on the side. So if you don't want to use um, the acorn, you can just press the button. But if you do want to have some sewing. And what's nice about these is it comes everything inclusive. So you don't need to solder, yeah. program, whatever. Everything comes as is and you're like ready to go. So it's really good for workshops or if you just want to do something once. Like you have a one-time little project to learn if you even like uh, wearable electronics. Okay. And the stars of the show tonight besides you, Lady Ada, we have two things. Blink a pin and blink a sticker. It's blink a time. With, a, with the blink a temporary tattoos. Denim, denim jacket. Now we have this pin. enamel pin. Yeah. And we have a sticker. a sticker that you can put on your laptop, which you put on your laptop. Yeah. So that's cool. So we got this. And that's, yeah, do you want to, I can show them on the overhead. Show the not, overhead. Then we'll, uh, not terribly exciting, but. No, it is exciting. Are you kidding? It's okay, so the enamel pin. Yeah. Comes on the eight of fruit paper. We're not going to make these pins forever, so these are limited limited edition. Yeah, they're limited. As they we're, say in the biz. We'll maybe make other pins, but there's a little Blinka, and she's programming at her computer, and she uses her tail to move the mouse. Yeah. You're all wondering, like, how does a snake program without arms and legs and stuff? It doesn't have to. She has a tail. There you go. Just yeah. type just one character at a time. It's a little bit sure. And then this is the uh, Blinka sticker. So a nice vinyl sticker, which yeah. you can place onto your computer yeah. or a book or desk or anywhere that will accept a sticker. Okay.